Pisces, let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Might be a change in a relationship that you have with somebody. Four of Pentacles is the energy of being guarded and with the Wheel of Fortune we know it's going in the opposite direction. You might be contemplating to open up to somebody or a situation where you've been a little bit, um, you know, focusing on... Um, I don't know, maybe stability, then you go into the full opposite and taking chances and risk. And we do have the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This is the um, Soulmate card. So absolutely we have you in love with somebody and Four of Pentacles is holding on to them for your dear life. This is also your Soulmate coming your way and being um, holding on to you for their dear life, right? Six of Cups, Four of Swords, that is not... <clears throat> A lot of communication, right? Four of Swords is the energy of silence. So it's what's going on. It's the energy of breakup. You might be uh, breaking. Maybe in the past you, you you had a moment with this person. King of Pentacles. That is Virgo, a Capricorn you are dealing with. But this can also be the energy of nurturing and loving a connection. Um, giving your time to it. King of Pentacles is a very loving energy of um, the energy of the provider, right? And the protector. So Pisces, overall energy. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, this energy of a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, all over your energy, being very patient. And we do have the Five of Wands. What's going on? Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. We are very patient about a conflict with this person. Five of Wands is internal struggle. We might be in a phase where we don't know um, what exactly. And Seven of Pentacles is, okay, I'm going to be patient. I know my harvest time is coming. So let's see what's going on. So Pisces, past energy is on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's see the energies right now current energy is on your side the person and mutual and let's see the possible outcome for the um first week of um june on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck we do have the judgment um, judgment and the hermit, probably somebody here is waiting on a decision, on a sentence, on a final judgment that is a fight for, can be resources because of the seven of pentacles and also a lot of silence, the hermit might be a Virgo. Um, I know judgment is the energy of rebirth, but it's kind of paired with the seven of pentacles and the five of wands, right? So we need to be patient about the decision of some sort. Um, so Pisces in the past we do have the Justice, um, Libra Energy and the Four of Cups. So maybe we've missed an opportunity to make things right or this is the energy of course can be a Libra and you've missed an opportunity with. Four of Cups is also the energy of boredom and discontent. So I'm kind of sensing, you know, um, yeah, we might have had the, the Justice Energy which is a beautiful energy of balance, of karma of good decisions, fundamental decisions, you know, bringing things, um, you know, um, making them easy again or in the flow again. That's energy of justice. Um, because it might have, you know, might have gone all over the place with the Four of Pentacles. And it's interesting, right? It's two opposite energies within, encapsulated in your own energy. Um, for some of you, you you know, maybe the situation was going nowhere. Um, that's a Four of Cups energy, right? And um, you finally decided, you know what? I'm going to straighten things um, up, right? That's energy. Uh, the way it feels. Now, the person you are dealing with might have been a Taurus. We do have the Hierophant and we have the Ace of Cups. They absolutely loved you in the past. Probably they offered a cup of love. They offered the commitment. This is the energy, of course, of marriage and um, traditional kind of marriage and, and long term. And it was, I mean, they, um, you know, they were very, uh, they were dead serious, actually. About this commitment might have been an in and out, kind of, because we do have the judgment as the overall energy and then the beginning of an emotional um, commitment with the Ace of Cups. So might have been in and out, in and out. 
and right now it looks like we are a little bit silent and we are in a, um, in a kind of challenging situation that we are actually trying to be very um, patient about. Um, so strong energies. I mean, they were, it's like they've uh, meant business, right? Um, mutual energies between the two of you in the past, the Five of Cups and the Eight of Wands. I believe we are brought to the table two different energies, or maybe this is a dynamic that started in the past and we have the Five of Cups. Um, you know, it's the energy of uh, regrets and guilt, while the other person is in the Eight of Wands energy. Complete passion. Cupid's arrows, um, sensuality, playfulness. Um, sexy communication that's it. all the eight of ones can um can bring to the table and then the other person brings the five of cups of course you have four of cups it kind of makes sense that the situation evolved um towards a five of cups energy which is not feeling comfortable not seeing the cup of the cups of love um you know behind you because that's the while well, this this other person was um pretty serious i would say pretty passionate about um but um you know it and again you can swap right you can swap energies and take whatever you feel uh fits in your situation but over here we have somebody being focused on balance and um uh, and dealing with you know emotions uncomfortable emotions of um discontent boredom not feeling excited not feeling uh feeling emotional but in a different way while this person was um well, I'm sure if you were wondering if they were dead serious about, well, they are. Um, Pisces for June, we do have the world and we have the four of wands. Of course, the world is all about happy endings, and uh, but it is paired with boredom, discontent, guilt, um, judgment. So um, maybe this is what you desire, right? And it is a happy ending for you, but I'm sensing here an energy where you go through. Um, you know, something, it, it feels like thank God is over. That's uh, honestly the energy of the world. And the four of wands, for some of you, actually, you look forward to stability. Um, it started in the past with the justice and energy of, I want to find my balance. I want to center myself in such a way where I'll feel comfortable, right? That's energy of justice. I'll, I'll feel comfortable. I'll, I'll have a good um, idea of what's going on and no matter what you know justice is always uh, justice in so many ways and I'm sensing that is paired with the four of one so some of you actually um, you long for stability over here and that's the energy you are in right now with the four of ones but then we have endings on our hands you know for some of you um, going through a divorce this is the energy where uh, with the world, the decision might come uh, where the papers are finally signed and everybody is um, accepting whatever changes because we had the Wheel of Fortune, if you remember, through shuffling. So changes are coming and it does look like good changes for you because we are putting down roots with the Four of Wands. This is the energy of family. This is the energy of building something that really feels solid and, um, and committed. Um... Now, the person you are dealing with, Page of Pentacles, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and the Three of Cups. Somebody longs for your reconciliation, Pisces. Um, they want it. They have an offer in their hands. They feel like a child about it. And the Three of Cups, they simply want to be happy with you. Three of Cups want reconciliation and coming together. We do have the judgment as the overall energy. So, yeah, somebody is, yeah, it might, might be challenging times. But at the core of the problem, somebody actually stays committed and um, wants, you know, to come back or to be back or stay with you. And they have an offer for you. Um, and it's interesting, Pisces, again, uh, coming from different energies, right? We do have the magician with the seven of wands. Somebody is blocking whatever separation, divorce, justice has to happen. While the other person is actually manifesting newness, we know the magician is, I need my new life. You know, it's the confidence um, that we can build something that is really um, the way you want it. And the magician is a very evolved energy, right? It's not, um, I mean, it's a major arcana, so it's like the... 
um, you know, the um, maximum of, um, of self-development and also the magician has all the tools, all the energies. Um, so again, we have somebody actually blocking or um, fighting for this commitment, this reconciliation, this offer. And we have somebody in, I'm going to change my life. That's the magician, you know. As above, so below. I'm going to align, right? That's, this is uh, when whatever was written, whatever is meant to be yours, and we align, we accept, and we work with it. Um, and that is the longing for stability here and roots. And four of wands is also the energy of celebrations. And I say that because you have the four of cups in, in the past. So again, energies of discontent and boredom. And the four of wands is the energy of weddings, of celebrations, of being part of somebody's community or, you know, this person being part of yours, but in a very um, kind of um, um, happy way, right? As an event. Um, moving forward, um, Pisces, what's going on? Energy is coming your way. We have you concerned about, and we have the Emperor. Can be Aries energy. And if you are dealing with an Aries, we have you a little bit concerned moving forward. For some of you, this is authority. For some of you, this is a parent. This is um, somebody um, in a position of power around you, and you might be kind of afraid that they might not accept your manifestation, right? We do have the magician. For some of you, I would say if this is um, um, energies from, um, you know, two different um, kind of backgrounds, we have you, you know, like in arranged uh, marriages and something like that, that would always be a parenthood, um, you know, oppose whatever is not in line with traditions and culture. And I'm sensing that there is some authority around you that we might be a little bit scared about. Um, or um, this is, um, you know, maybe about the judgments that people might, um, you know, might put on you. Because at the end of the day, justice and judgment, that is a divorce here. Somebody with the five of wands, let me tell you, it's a divorce and a half in terms of battles and struggles. Um, I call them a fight and a half, but hey. Um, so we kind of have, and we have you concerned again. It can be an Aries you are married to, and now we are, uh, it's um... so Pisces. This person of yours, we have them again with the Ace of Cups. They want this again. They absolutely want this again, and we have them in the Five of Pentacles energy, feeling rejected, feeling abandoned, feeling that um, you know, um, you know, left out in a cold and and not part of whatever decision you're making um because it does look like um you know something that is yeah but i still love you yeah but i still you know i want you back you are still mine um kind of energy you know and mutual energy is between the two of you we do have the six of cups and we have the king of cups one is you uh well i believe it's both your energies in some way unless you are dealing with another water sign um, but we have you emotionally solid with the King of Cups. Um, and this is the clarity of the heart, the King of Cups, because he knows what he wants. And he knows um, about his emotional world, uh, about the people um, he loves. And um, I'm sensing it's a solid energy. And of course, we have you reminiscent about the past with the Six of Cups. We have you in a soulmate bond uh, moving forward. Um, and it is the energy between the two of you. Of course, for some of you, this is about kids. We do have a little girl and a little boy in the deck. So might, some of you might have children with this person. And we have this emotional bond between you and this person because of children. And we have you, of course, in your energy and feeling strong and quite determined about what you want. Um, clarity of the heart. That's, this is how it feels, um, Pisces, this is how it feels. And it's been a while in that, in this energy, even in the past, we are contemplating justice, right? It started in the past and now it's like, yeah, but I know it's going to be hurtful with the Nine of Swords. I'm going to be concerned, but it, my heart knows what my heart wants, you know, uh, with the King of Cups. I would say also that because there is so much love from this person, um, Pisces, you show up and there are like 
uh, two times the Ace of Cups is um, they are actually asking for a new beginning. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do in regards to this commitment. And Pisces, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So you are guided to be patient and to be kind. Okay? What about the situation? What else? We have romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So yeah, this situation, right? You have to be patient. And then romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So let's have another one. And we do have the heart of the matter. That is more going on than meets the eye. So that is something probably that you don't see in regards to the situation, right? The heart of the matter. That is more going on than meets the eye. Let's have some guardian angels. Let's see what we need to do in regards to this connection of yours that you have with this person showing up. And it's a strong energy of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Actually, you have Taurus a couple of times. You have Aries also. It can be a water sign like yourself. And can be... Um, you have twice an earth sign and you have um, Libra once, Taurus twice, three times actually. So let's, um, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do. And we do have the Seven of Cups. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. And you do have Seven of Cups, so make a choice. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. We need balance back, right? We need balance back. So Six of Abundance. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organization. It is my kindness card. And with the Seven of Cups, I believe you are guided to make a choice and do it with kindness. And um, actually, in order to balance a situation, because we need to bring back balance. And I believe it started in the past. That's how we get the justice in uh, Major Arcana. And now we get the justice in Minor. In minor so... That is something about karma, that is something about justice, that is something about soul ties that are changing now. So let's see the energies to get back into the flow. And we do have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I believe you are taking things uh, too seriously, Pisces, and you are really guided to have a little bit more fun. I'm going to take both of them. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Surrender to creativity. You need to really let yourself lose your artistic side. So it says, let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. What else? We do have service. I feel good when I can help others. I feel good when I can help others. And we do have surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. And bottom of the deck, we do have ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Um, Pisces, honestly, the way I'm, uh, one is about patience, one is about kindness, one is about uh, receiving support and love. So I don't know if you are guided towards this person, but most definitely you have to make a couple of choices here. Looks like the choice is yours. And um, it is for the purpose of bringing some balance in a situation where clearly you are so loved, Pisces. Absolutely, that is love in, um, in this connection that you guys have. Um, yeah, so hey, Pisces, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. 
As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you, take care.